guys. Happy Three String Thursday. I'm Mike Snowden. SnowdenGuitars.com is where you can find me online. So if you're looking to buy a cigar box guitar, I want to show you 10 things that I think are very important when you're looking to buy a cigar box guitar. So these are 10 things that I just think you need to be aware of if you're, if you're wanting to buy a guitar. Or if you're making a guitar, these are 10 things to kind of know. But these are 10 things that I think are very important when you're looking at getting a cigar box guitar. So let's get into it. I'm going to start right off with that first thing I think that's super important, and that's the action of the strings. How high are the strings off the fretboard? Can you, can you play the guitar with your fingers? Are the, are the, are the strings so far up the neck that you can't, you can't mash down the strings or just going to cut your fingers up? You want the action nice and low, and I'm not giving any measurements or anything like that. It's just, can, can I play the, the cigar box guitar with my fingers? I like the action to play with my fingers and slide. So that means that the action, it's not so high off the neck that I can't press the strings down, but I can still play it with a slide. There's that little sweet spot in there. So the number one thing for me is action. I gotta have good action on my cigar box guitars. The next thing I think is very important is the intonation. And intonation is, how does it, when, I'm, when you play that guitar all the way up, the, when you make a chord, all the way up the neck, does it stay in tune? Does it sound weird? Does it, does it warble? That's intonation. I'm not gonna explain about how to set it up and all that, but just, just know that, that you wanna know that the guitar has good intonation and it sounds good all the way up the neck. Basically that means the, from the nut to the bridge, is it, is it in tune at the 12th fret? And you can adjust that with the bridge on most, most guitars. So that's an important thing is intonation. So make sure you got good action and your intonation is good. The next thing is frets. When I, the first cigar box got, guitar I built, I don't know how many years ago, I built it and I didn't put frets on it. And it was fun for, for a little while. I played it for a little while, but then I kind of set it down and it sat there for a few months and I didn't, I didn't touch it. So then I was like, I need to put some frets on it. So once I fretted it, dude, I, that was it. I was off to the races, man. You know, with frets, there's, you can find cigar box guitar, guitars out there that are fretless, and that's cool, that's cool. It's just not my thing. I like having frets. That way I can play, do stonesy stuff. I can do, I can play anything on it. And, and I can still play with a slide. So to me, frets are very important. Uh, let's see, what did I write down here? Oh yeah, number four. I wanna make sure that there is a bend with the strings, this is the uh, this is your nut, and this is the headstock up here. I want to make sure there's a bend in the strings there, right there. I want to make sure there's a little bend right there, so when the strings come off the headstock, and then it makes a turn to go down the neck, you want to make sure there's a a nice little bend there, and that way you won't have these weird overtones and f funky sounds, because that'll happen if you don't have a good band at your headstock. You'll get some weird overtones and weird weird sounds. Same and, and that's that brings me to number uh, number five. Uh, you want to bend. You want to bend at the bridge. This, this is your this is your bridge right here. You want a little bend in the strings right here. That also keeps you from getting weird overtones and so. Number four would be a bend in the headstock. Number five is a bend at the bridge on the strings. All right, let's see what I have for number six is scale length. So some cigar box guitars are, are really short or some are really, really long. Or all the cigar box guitars that I make are 25 inch scale. To me, it's just, it's just a real perfect, it's just perfect for a cigar box guitar. So be advised of the scale. You may, you may not want one really, really long or really short. There's no, there's no rules. You can do whatever, <laughs> but 25 inch scale to me is a really, a really good inch, a good scale length. Um, number seven is pickup. You don't have to have a pickup. You could play these things acoustic. So yeah, they don't even have to have a pickup. But just be aware of that if you're looking at getting one. What kind of pickup does it have in it? A piezo pickup, 
You can have there's so many different pickups. You can have a piezo, which is a pickup you don't see. Just a pickup inside the box. You can have a, a single coil like this one, a humbucker, um, a P90. There's a million different pickups. So just be advised. There's Harold up there barking at somebody. <laughs> be advised of your pickup. What's the neck made of? You know, you want to me a neck needs to be really stiff and strong and made out of a hardwood. This one's made out of hard maple, and the fretboard is, is hard maple. But hard maple's great, great for fretboard, great for necks. Um, just make sure you got a good, solid neck. That's really important. Um, number nine is the size of your box. A big box will give you a, a more deeper tone. Um, you know, medium-sized box sounds good. Small boxes, man, some of those sound really cool too. Just so, just be aware of the size of your box. It can affect your sound. The way I make my guitar is a smaller box, kind of get a few more frets, a bigger box, less frets, but you get more of a beefy tone, you know? So that's kind of cool too. So that's that's something to know. Um, and the number 10 is, what does it sound like, man? <laughs> I think like, does it sound cool? Make sure it sounds good, man. You know, acoustic or electric. So yeah, man, there you go. Uh, I'll run them out real quick. Action, action with strings. Intonation, is it intonated? Does it have good frets on it? Is there a bend at the headstock for the string? Is there a bend at the bridge on the strings? What scale length am I looking at? Does it have pickups or not? Um, what type of wood is the neck made of? Size of cigar box, and what's the thing sound like? <laughs> so there you go, man. There's 10 things to look for if you're looking at buying a cigar box guitar that I think are important. So I hope that helps you guys out. And uh, cool, man. We'll see y'all next week.